You know, throughout my years of Go Animate watching and now Go Animate making, I think we can all agree that some Go Animate subgenres need to stop. Like, there are so many subgenres of Go Animate videos out there, that trying to name them all is like singing Yakko's World while on 12 tabs of LSD. Some are okay if they know how to do them right. But then there are others that aren't worth salvaging and just make me wish I never returned to Go Animate. So, I'm going to show you the top 10 worst Go Animate subgenres ever. Now, if you like these subgenres, fine, I don't see how, but fine. Just don't attack me for having my opinion. With that said, let's begin. Number 10 Porn Videos. First off, who in their right mind would want to see something like that? It's flat out weird and against YouTube's guidelines. I don't need to explain this do I? And worse of all, there are minors on YouTube pursing these videos without a care in the world, and showing them this is like showing them death. The only reason it's at number 10 is because I hardly ever see videos like these. And hopefully, I never see them again, cause the last thing we need is two girls one cup and go animate. Number 9. Alvin Hung Videos. Again. It's high up because you hardly find them nowadays, but in 2017, you would find these videos six ways from Sunday. Alvin Hung videos are just gonimators who have half a brain beating the shit out of a real person because they don't have the part of their brain that tells them this is wrong. If you punch a fictional character, then fine, I won't blame you, but hurting a real person, even if he's animated is harassment, cyberbullying and borderline cruelty. Alvin Hung is not the reason Go Animate became the flaming shithole it is today, heck, he's not even working there anymore. So why cyber bully him? Heck, why do so to begin with? Number 8, Sequel Videos. Now, I won't lie, I'm not innocent on this one. When I was on my old Koopa Network channel, I made sequel videos against trolls. Now I see that as utterly retarded. Sequel videos are essentially just people raging over a video with them in it. These videos are usually retaliation against trolls. And they're usually lazy 10 seconds garbage. To those making sequel videos, you are just feeding the trolls, making them troll you even further till one of you gets terminated, report them, not make sequel videos out of them. Number 7. Character Eliminations. For the love of God, stop telling me to make another episode to my total drama character elimination, I'm not gonna do one, and here's why. These character elimination episodes are nothing but favoritism. Don't believe me, I'll give you an example, L. Ryan's character eliminations. In his character eliminations, he always makes Sky the winner regardless of what viewers vote on. Furthermore, he shoehorns troublemakers in just so he can unfairly boot them off. Like, the vote me out sign and the one Googleplex votes penalty are just meant for troublemakers so these videos can get rid of them to maintain a stupid status quo. When I started on my character elimination, I wanted it to be a hated character proving that he has the guts to win the day. But nobody gives a flying fish about that. And most character elimination episodes are just copy and paste past episodes with a coat of paint or copying other videos. Why does the first episode always have X shitting on cake? And some character eliminations have in turns he can brutally murder for almost no reason other than that they're baby show characters. You're not cool by doing that. You're a joke. Number 6. Logo Videos. These videos are just one logo being placed through different effects because the person making them doesn't have the brain capacity above a vegetable. If these kinds of videos were as hard to find as the other types of videos, I'd give it a pass as they're relatively harmless, but you can't go 5 seconds without seeing them. If you're gonna upload a logo, fine, I don't care, but don't take the same logo and upload 13,000 times with different effects. It just makes you lazier than 12 ounce mouse. Number 5. Fetish videos. Oh my lord, how this isn't the worst Gonomad subgenre, let alone not make the top 3 is beyond me. Fetish videos are taking something on DeviantArt and reanimating it in Gonomad. Those kinds of videos get on my skin and some make me physically sick. They consist of expansion, volor, flashing, scat, water spouts, fart, plush ophelia, and god knows what else. Unless you're referencing a fetish for a joke, avoid at all costs. What's worse is that, once again, there are children watching these kinds of videos. Meaning you could traumatize an entire generation with these kinds of videos. 
and worst of all, some of these fetishes are targeted towards minors. Sometimes as part of a Punishment Day video. Do I even need to explain how wrong that is? Thankfully, and I do mean thankfully, these kinds of videos are extremely rare nowadays, which is what saved this type of video from being at number 1. Number 4. Gonama Cringe Compilations Don't get me wrong, there are a ton of Gonama videos that are utter cringe, especially back in 2013 to 2015. But come on, really? Cringe comps? All you're doing when making cringe compilations is just stealing other people's videos and reploading them. Granted, this can prove helpful when finding lost videos, but still. These types of videos can also have negative consequences as people might find the person who uploaded the original video on the comp and start cyberbullying them for no reason, and suppose what they made was intentionally cringe for a joke, if that's the case, then people will never appreciate them for their other videos and just focus on a comp video. Number 3. Behavior Car Day Videos Do you know how tedious it is to sit through a video with nothing but characters repeating the same thing over and over again? That's basically a Behavior Car Day video. These videos if one is insane enough, can be as long as the entire universe. No kidding, they can be that long. Some people dedicate entire videos just to planning Behavior Car Days and it's just a bunch of squares on the screen for a solid two hours. I admit, I made one once, but I at least tried to make it somewhat good, even if it is utter garbage, and at least I made it short so nobody wanted to die watching it. These videos are essentially a lifelong cancer just to get watch hours and possibly ads. Number 2. War and Style Punishments What happens when you take the tediousness of the behavior card day videos and a hint of paper Luigi 99, then put it in a blender? Well. You get this. War and style punishments are essentially a character being told how they will be abused every day for the rest of their life for sometimes not doing anything wrong. I personally have bad experiences with these videos. Two of which made me hate the genre altogether. One of those two is a video called Little Bill Gets War and Style Punishments, which was the most racist video I ever saw. About 45% of those punishments were essentially racism like having Little Bill work in cat and fields, or wear a sign that tells people to call him the N-word, like, WTF, you can't do any of that to Little Bill, as that's racist. The other video, called Kalu Gets More in Style Punishments, had a punishment where Kalu would be a sex slave. What were you thinking putting that in your video? He's only four in the show. Do you know how disgusting and idiotic that is? And the rest of these war and style punishments are locking the person away from the outside world so they can be abused forever, and engage in diaper play, which is infantophilic, and these types of videos still show up from time to time, what you guys are making is implied child abuse because you think it's funny, news flash, child abuse is not funny, and, without a doubt, the number one worst go animal subgenre, is, punishment day videos. Oh my god. This has got to be the worst kind of go animal video ever. And the worst idea ever. Do you know what punishment day videos are? They're essentially a go animal snuff film. Why? Because it shows children being brutally assaulted six ways from Sunday. Some of these punishments are having their private parts cut off, having their eyeballs ripped out of their sockets, digging in their butt for poop. Force-fed snake venom, raped, had their pet murdered in front of them, dick in other people's armpit smear, getting injected with radioactive man bazooka juice. And then, they're brutally murdered and everyone laughs at their death, or they laugh at their victims committing suicide. And there, they laugh harder. Are you flushing serious? All these videos are, are just hours of child abuse that the creators want to do to children in real life but can't because if they did, the FBI would put a bounty on their head. This type of video made me bit go animal in 2021, causing me to go mad, get my old channel deleted, and lead me to a dark path where I made loot SMRs. That Childish Intentions movie was a way to express what I really thought of not just Caillou's Ultimate Punishment Day, but all Punishment Day videos as a whole. I hope that these videos stop, the creators of them get arrested, and that these types of videos never resurface again.